one. Welcome back to Revender in Sports and a, another episode of Bike Profiles. Today we're going to talk about a Look 795 Blade, which is their aero bike. And so let's do the top line uh, news on it. It's a Look with an Ultegra Di2 group set and the Look wheels on it. And we're going to go through a few other things just to uh, point out some cool stuff about it. So this right here is their Look handlebar and it's got the integrated um, or internal cable routing for the brake cables and yeah DI2 is coming out of here underneath here but the stem is a basically a standard type of stem so these uh, lines are not running inside or through the stem and there is another video where we talked about the headset on this and I'm pretty sure that these uh, brake, cable, brake hoses are running through the headset. So we have the look handlebar. Do you know what width this handlebar is? Like a 42 maybe? Because you've are you got pretty broad shoulders, sir. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Okay, no worries. So about a 42 handlebar. This is probably about a 110 stem, 120 stem. And then we've got, of course, their own proprietary seat post. And this gentleman has been in search of the Holy Grail for a saddle. We've tried many different saddles. And now you've got a 3D printed saddle coming? On the way, yes. On the way. Okay, cool. So I can't wait to see that. Maybe we'll shoot another, another quick video of that. See if it works. See if it works. Yeah. So we've got this Ultegra 11 speed group set. This bike is from 2020. And I do not believe uh, 12 speed was available at the time. So we got the look wheels on there, 38 mil spec. So those are nice because I guess in any type of wind condition, a gentleman like yourself at 190 pounds, you can handle a 38 millimeter rim depth. We've got a 5236 crank set, Ultegra. And we've got a, an Ultegra front derailleur. Now this bike came in for a tune-up, some work, and so now we've got a brand new uh, Durace chain on here. And uh, we also did some free hub maintenance. So that hub is silky smooth again. We have the Ultegra rear derailleur which is, uh, let's see, probably the standard uh, length. It's not the SGS. And what is that, like an 1130 or 1128? What do, you, do you know what your cogs are, your uh, cassette? I want to say it's a 10. Well, it would be 11, 11 something. Because 10 is only for, for SRAM. Oh, okay, so yeah, the 11 then. 11, like what, 28 or 30 or... I can't tell. Anyway, yeah, we'll that's what we look. have. Yeah. So. I should know. Yeah, you <laughs> should, but it's no big deal if you don't. Um, okay, so that is the bike spec as we see it now. The only upgrade I see in the near future is a 3D printed saddle. Do you remember the model name? Uh, it's a Sela San Marco. Uh, 3D printed TI saddle. Okay, so tie rails? TI? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, titanium rails. Nice. What'd that set you back? <laughs> Almost 300. Almost 300? Okay, yeah. that's not too bad. It was on sale actually, so. Okay, good, good, good. Wasn't and, the, the upper end, but not not too cheap either. Yeah, and you've got the my favorite power meter pedals, the Favero Asioma pedals yeah. in the single side version. So that's one of my favorite pedal based power meters so yeah this is a great bike and as I told uh, Ian myself if I were to consider uh, a look bike it would be the blade I would get it in the arrow um, the arrow frame as opposed to the Lab Duez which wouldn't wouldn't be all that light because it's a disc brake frame so I wouldn't 
I don't know that I'd want a climbing disc brake bike because it'd be far too heavy. Okay, that is all for today. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you up the road.